everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Here today we are going to make this awesome Jack Skellington Cup Cozy. It's great for the Halloween season or really any time of the year because this is an awesome character. Um, but what we need today to make this Jack Skellington Cozy is Red Heart Yarns in black and white. This is basically a scrap project though. So um, you can see here I have the label for the yarn needed. This is a worsted weight size four medium yarn. So make sure you have something similar to this. Uh, any worsted weight yarn, Aran style kind of yarn, that should be fine. Um, but just need, you need white or black. Uh, I do show how to make just the cup cozy and you can make this in any colors you want. If you wanna just make the plain cup cozy without the face, that is totally fine. Um, so you can use just two colors and I show how to make a striped cup cozy if you just wanna make that. Uh, follow along for that section of the video, but you can follow along for the rest of the video to make the face to sew on here. Um, so those are the two colors we need for yarn. You need black felt as well. So I have scrap felt here, just a small amount of black felt, a piece of paper. I'll show you how to make this with a pen. So you need a pen, paper, and then um, the felt to cut that out. So to cut it out, we obviously need a pair of scissors. The size hook we're going to use today is an H size hook, which is five millimeters. And we are also going to need a yarn needle to sew in our ends, to sew on, to embroider this mouth, our nose and our eyebrows, and also to sew this on to our cup cozy. So this yarn needle is going to be very handy in this project. To make or to attach the eyes, I used this tacky glue I had available. You can use fabric glue or tacky glue, whichever you feel most comfortable using, but um, I used this tacky glue and it was very sufficient. So you can use any type of glue to attach the eyes using the felt. But um, other than that, uh, make sure to check out the links in the description of this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. The links in the description will have the free written pattern for this uh, Cup Cozy, as well as a links to my Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. You can see ba um, behind the scenes footage of my projects and things I like to crochet on my off time. So make sure to join me there. On Facebook, if you make this, make sure to share your photo so we can see your fabulous work. And um, I also want to thank our videographer and photographer and editor of this video, uh, Fwada as much for taking the time out to make this with us. But let's just get started on making this Jack Skellington cup cozy. All right, to start out, we need to make a slip knot. So put your short end over the long end, fold this down, and then pull this through. And pull tight. And there you have your slip knot. You can insert your hook and pull that. And now we're ready to go. So now we need to chain 30. So yarn over and pull through. One, two, three, four, five. I won't make you watch all 30. So just keep yarning over and pulling through to make your chains till you have 30 chains. And then I'll meet you up when I have done that. All right, they have my 30 chains and this is what it looks like. Now, uh, to make this into our cup cozy, we have to, without twisting this chain, we want to bring the beginning of the chain to our hook like this. So kind of folding it around like this, okay? And then, getting the straggler out of the way, there we go. We are going to slip stitch into the beginning chain. Okay, so that, that very first chain here. So we're going to insert our hook and then yarn over and pull that through and pull it through all the way. Okay, so now we've just attached and our chain is not twisted and this is what it looks like, a circle. So now we need to chain up two. So yarn over, pull through one and two, but that does not count as a stitch. Okay, that just is getting to our height that we need. And we're going to half double crochet all the way around this chain. But what I'm going to do is actually turn the chain toward me and look at the back ridges. So you can see here that our chain looks like this and you can see this top loop and this bottom loop, top loop, bottom loop. 
but we're going to turn this toward us and we're going to look at the back ridges. So you see the ridge on the back. We are going to work in those. Okay, so uh, we have to work in this very first one still because uh, we just uh, slip stitched in there and chained up two. So now yarn over, we're making half double crochets, so go into that first stitch that we just slip stitched into. Yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, and now yarn over, go into the next chain, the back ridge of that chain. Yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, again, yarn over, go into the next chain. Yarn over and pull that through and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Okay, so just do that all the way around. And once I have all 30 of my half double crochets, I will show you how to attach and we'll go on to the next row together. All right, so I just um, half double crocheted in each chain all the way around, so I have 30. Now we wanna slip stitch to the beginning, but do not slip stitch to the chain up two here. So there's chain one, chain two. We're actually gonna slip stitch into the first half double crochet of this round. So insert your hook in that top stitch right there. Yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Okay, pull tight there. So there is the start of our cup cozy. Now chain up two, one and two, and we're going to half double crochet in each stitch around. So um, yarn over, go into the same stitch that we just slip stitched into right here. Yarn over, then pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, and now you know how to do a half double crochet because we just did 30 of those. So yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Okay, and just continue working one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. At the end of this round, we'll be changing color to white uh, and we'll be doing a single crochet row. So I'll show you how to do that uh, once I come back around. So we'll go on to round three together. All right, so I've come back around. I just did one half double crochet in each stitch around. Now we have to slip stitch to the beginning half double crochet of this round. So do not slip stitch to this chain up two here. So you count one, two, and then the very next one is our stitch insert your hook, but now we're going to change color. We're not going to yarn over with the black, we're going to yarn over with the white. So what I usually do is just kind of uh, fold this in half a little bit like this, and then insert my hook around there, and then pull that through and through. Okay, and then let go of the stragglers in my old color. Okay, and then pick up the white. We're just going to chain one, so yarn over and pull through one. So now we're completely attached. And now we're going to single crochet all the way around. So no yarning over, just go into this first stitch where we just slip stitched into. Insert your hook right in there. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through both loops that are on your hook. That's a single crochet. Okay, so just single crochet, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, Go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Okay, so we're just doing that all the way around this row, just single crocheting. You should have 30 single crochets then all the way around. Then at the end of this row, we are going to go back to black yarn and then work um, a single crochet row in black. So I'll just meet you back up when we attach and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, and we'll do round four together. All right, I'm just finishing up round three here. And now we are going to slip stitch into the first single crochet of this row. Uh, you can see here, there's the chain up one right there. Do not slip stitch into that. We're gonna slip stitch into the first stitch, the first single crochet, but we're not going to yarn over with white. We are actually going to yarn over with black. And you can decide here if you just want to have it continuously uh, going up the back. You can just leave that attached then and just slip stitch 
just like that by um, inserting your hook, yarning over, pulling through and through. That way you don't have to uh, sew in that end at all. And that's nice. So you can leave those colors attached without having to cut them. So now, going on to round four, we're going to chain up one. Okay, and uh, this is going to be uh, covered, okay? So this, you can see that this kind of looks weird and there's a seam looking there. But we're actually going to cover that with our applique so it's going to be all hidden. So don't even worry about what it looks like. So now we're just going to single crochet around with black. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Just like this. All the way around, we're going to just single crochet in black. Then when we come back around, we're going to switch over to white and do uh, a single crochet round of white. And basically, just repeat uh, rows two, or three and four now until you have four stripes of white. And you want to end on a, the fourth stripe of white. And then we're going to make um, our two last rows, which will be our two half double crochets, just to make them even like the bottom. And I'll show you how to do that. So just repeat rows three and four until you have four stripes of white. That'll be uh, three, four, let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rounds. So I'll meet you up when I finish round ten, and then uh, we will do rounds eleven and twelve together. All right, I just finished uh, my fourth uh, white round here. So you just want to change color every round and just make sure that you have four of the white rounds and end on the white round. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, round nine. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, nine rounds. I think I said 10 earlier, uh, but my counting was off. So you want to end on a fourth um, white round. So there's one, two, three, four white rounds. And we are going to uh, slip stitch though with a, the black. So we are almost done here. So change the color back to black by slip stitching just like that. Okay, and now we want to chain up two and we're going to do a, a half double crochet round. We're going to just repeat what we did down here. So chain two, one and two, and just half double crochet in each stitch around. So yarn over, go into that first stitch there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Okay, so just do a half double crochet in each stitch around. And then we're going to slip stitch, and we're going to slip uh, stitch with black in the beginning there, and then chain up two and do one more round of half double crochets once we get back around on this row. So I'll show you how to do that. Just do one half double crochet in black all the way around this round, and then I'll meet you up and we'll go on to round 11 together. All right, I'm just finishing up the round uh, 10 here. Okay, and now we wanna slip stitch in the beginning, a half double crochet of this round. Okay, so yarn over, pull through, and pull through, chain up two, one and two, and then just half double crochet around. So simple. So um, this is our last round here, and then I'll show you how to fasten off, and then we will make the, uh, or we'll sew in all of our ends, and then we'll make the applique of Jack Skellington's face and attach it after that. All right, so I'm just finishing up this round, and to fasten off, we're going to insert our hook in that first half double crochet of this round, just like this. Yarn over, pull through, and through. And then to fasten off, I usually chain up one, cut my yarn, and then pull it all the way through, and pull tight. And you can also cut your stragglers, just like that. Okay, so this is what our cup cozy looks like. You could actually just sew in your ends and have a cup cozy that just looks like this. I mean, you can make a striped cup cozy in any color. It doesn't have to be just black and white. So you can have a lovely cup cozy that's just plain like this, striped, and you can be ready to go. Uh, to sew in our ends, it's very simple. I'm gonna turn this inside out so you can see. We're gonna take our yarn needle 
and the straggler here and just go underneath the stitches behind the stitches just like this and pull that all the way through and then cut the remainder you want to stretch it out to make sure that it is secure and behind all the stitches and then just do that with all of your stragglers and make sure that they're going underneath the corresponding color because you don't want them to be popping out um, randomly and some people go through like this and then go back through like this and then stretch that out so it's really I mean either way you can just go one way or both ways it doesn't really matter so I'm gonna sew in these last two and then we will make the face uh, the Jack Skellington face together uh, so I'll meet you up when I've finished this all right I just sewed in my ends here so this is what it looks like so like I said you could just do you know your own colors and just have a plain striped cozy this is really cool looking but we're gonna add the Jack Skellington face so set that aside and with white we need to make a slip knot so yarn or put your short end over the long end fold that down and pull that through and insert your hook all right so now we have to make a circle and to do that we need to chain two so yarn over and pull through one and two and now in the second chain from the hook we have to put six single crochet so the loop that's on your hook never counts as anything so count one and two and then insert your hook into that chain that very first chain there yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through two loops that's our first single crochet we have to make five more in there for a total of six so go back into that chain yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through two loops and again so this is three and four five whoopsie there we go five and six okay and you notice I'm working in a circular motion here because we are going in around and now we want to uh, slip stitch to the beginning so count back one two three four five six go back into that first single crochet we made right here and then yarn over pull through and pull through for a slip stitch and then chain up one So there's our first round now going on to round number two we had to put two single crochets into each stitch around so go into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into we're gonna put two single crochets into there so one and two okay so we just put two single crochets in that first stitch now we're just gonna put two single crochets in each stitch all the way around so one and two next one one and two next one one and two next one one and two so at the end of this round you'll have 12 single crochets okay and now I have my 12 now we're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet of this round do not slip stitch in this chain one so go to the very first single crochet of this round insert your hook yarn over pull through and pull through for a slip stitch and then chain one and then going on to round number three we're gonna put two single crochets in the first stitch and only one single crochet in the next stitch and then repeat that all the way around so in this very first stitch that we just slip stitched and chained up one in we're gonna put two single crochets in there so one and two okay now in this next stitch we're only gonna put one single crochet 
Okay, and then we're just going to repeat that sequence. So in the next stitch, we are going to put two single crochets. So one and two. And then in the next stitch, we're only going to put one single crochet. So basically every other stitch, we're going to put two single crochets. So again, next stitch, we're going to put two single crochets. And then the next stitch, we're just going to put one. So at the end of this round, you'll have 18 uh, single crochets. And so I'll just uh, repeat the sequence all the way around, and then I'll meet you up when I have my 18 single crochets. All right, I just have uh, my 18 single crochets now. Now we're just going to slip stitch to the beginning single crochet of this round. Remember, do not single or slip stitch to the chain up one there. So just slip stitch to the first single crochet of this round. Yarn over, pull through and through. And now going on to round four, we're going to chain up one and we're going to put two single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next two stitches. So in this first stitch that we just slip stitched two and chained up one in, we are going to put two single crochets right in there. So one and two. And then in the next two stitches, we're just going to put one single crochet. So one in that one and then one in the next one. Just like that. And then repeat, so put two single crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet in the next two stitches. So one and one. Okay, and then just repeat, so two single crochets in the same stitch, and then one single crochet in the next two stitches. And just repeat that at the end of this round, you'll have 24 single crochets. So I'll meet you up when I have my 24 and we'll go on to round five together. All right, I just finished round 24. Remember to slip stitch to the beginning single crochet of that round. Yarn over, pull through and through, and then chain up one. And going on to round number five right away, we're going to put two single crochets in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next three stitches this time. So Go into this very first stitch that we just slip stitched into for two single crochets. One and two. And then we're going to put one single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Now in the next stitch, we're going to put two single crochet. One and two. And then one single crochet in the next three stitches. One one and one. Okay, and then again, two single crochet in the next stitch and one single crochet in the next three stitches. So just repeat that sequence all the way around. At the end of round five, you should have 30 single crochets. So I'll meet you up when I have done that and we'll go on to round six together. All right, so I have my 30 single crochets all the way around. I'm going to slip stitch to the beginning single crochet of this round. Yarn over, pull through and through, and then chain up one. And going on to round six, we're going to put two single crochet in this first stitch and then one single crochet in the next four stitches. So right in that same stitch that we just slip stitched into and chained up one, we are going to put two single crochets in there. So one and two. And then we're just going to put one single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. And then repeat that. So put two single crochet in the next stitch. One and two and then one single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Again, put two single crochet in the next stitch, and then one single crochet in the next four stitches. Just repeat that around. At the end of this round, you'll have 36 single crochets. And then uh, we'll go on to round seven together. Round seven is our last round. All right, I just finished round six. So now I'm gonna slip stitch to the beginning here. Going on to round seven, like I said, it's our last round. So we're gonna chain up one. 
and we're going to put two single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next five stitches and then repeat that all the way around. So put two single crochets in this first stitch, one and two, and then put one single crochet in the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five, and then repeat. So put two single crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and then put one single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, I'll show you once more. Put two single crochet in the next stitch, and then one single crochet in the next five stitches. And at the end of this round, you'll have 42 single crochets. And I'll show you uh, then after that, we're going to fasten off and we're going to make the face. All right, I just finished. So now we have 42 single crochets all the way around. So just slip stitch to the beginning here. And then to fasten off, I usually just chain one, but we're going to fasten off with a long tail because we have to sew this to our cup cozy. And then just pull that all the way through, just like that. And pull that tight. You can stretch this out a little bit, make it more uniform to look like a circle. Okay, so there we go. Just like that. Now we can put it on our cup cozy. Now you can decide if you want it on the side to cover our seam here. That would be perfectly fine. Just like that. Okay, but first we have to make the face and then we'll attach it by sewing it. So to make the face, we need black yarn and our yarn needle. And we just want to yarn our needle here. Okay. And on this last round here, between rounds six and seven, is where our mouth is going to be. And you want to mark, uh, if you want to, you can mark it. You don't have to, but mark where the start of your mouth is going to be. And where the other side of your mouth is going to be. And you want it to be pretty wide. So I think having it like this would be good. Okay, so I'm just going to use those as markings of where I want to start and stop where my mouth is. And now we want to go in on one end from the back. Okay, so you can actually take out one of the markings and just put your yarn needle through there. Okay, and we're just going to go back and forth through these stitches, every other stitch. Okay. So we're just going back and forth, back and forth. Okay, and now we have to go back because we have these spaces in here. So we're going to go back and cover those spaces. And how we're going to do that, we're going to go into the actual black yarn to cover that. And then from the back, we're going to come up through here, okay, and just go into the yarn, not through the stitches. Okay, on either side of this yarn, just like that. So coming back, doing this part is a little bit more uh, difficult and tedious. 
But once you get the hang of it, it should go a little quicker. Okay, and then we have to make the stitches style for um, the mouth. Okay, so to do that, okay, so we ended on the outside, so this is how the mouth looks so far. Now we have to make um, black lines, and they do not have to be even, so basically what we're going to do is I'm going to cut this, and then, so now all we have is this straggler here, and what we're going to do is just go from one end up here and down and you can go all the way down to this stitch here okay and you can pull that tight and you can make them random or you can make them even this is really creator's choice now how you want to make your Jack Skellington look I'm going to skip every other stitch. So mine's going to be a little even. looks so cute and fun. All right, last one here. You don't want to go all the way to the end because he doesn't have that. So that's how it looks there. Now to um, fasten off, what I'm going to do is actually go behind these stitches on the back. Just like that and then tie a knot with my beginning straggler. Okay, and these you don't actually even have to sew in because this will be behind this piece. So it'll look like that. Okay, now for we have to make the nose. And uh, for the eyes, I actually cut out felt um, because I don't know how to crochet the type of eyes uh, for the Jack Skellington. So this is what my eyes look like. I just took some felt here. Okay, and what you need to do is take a piece of paper and kind of draw out a little bit of a an eye. Let me show you here. So you want to draw out a, an eye, um, and basically his eye looks like this, so it's like a teardrop kind of thing with a little bit of a hook, something like this, okay? And you want to make it so it's like a little, like this size, uh, which is about an inch, inch and a half. And then once you cut it out, or once you make it out of the paper, once you draw it on the paper, you can... Um, cut that out, put it on your felt, and then cut it out of the felt. And what I found it easiest to do was actually fold my felt in half, like this, put this on top, and then cut around this, and so then you have two perfectly cut uh, pieces, which I actually did for these here. So I just cut it out on the um, felt that was folded in half and it turned out like this and then you just have the two eyes just like that. So that is how you cut that out of felt. Uh, make sure they're about an inch um, in size. It did not take me one try to get this right so if you mess up a few times trying to cut them right that's totally fine because it took me about five times to figure out how to make these eyes. So 
what we're going to do is we are going to um, glue these on to our face and I'm just going to use some of this uh, tacky glue um, you can use fabric glue or tacky glue or really any type of glue and we are going to glue these down And you want them right about here. And you want them up on an angle. Because he looks like sinister. Like mad, but creepy. Okay. Okay, so once the eyes are on, then you know where to position your eyebrows and your nose. Okay, so for the eyebrows, it's actually very simple. We're just going to be taking this yarn, we're going to use the glue for this, the eyebrows. And what we're going to do is just go from the back to the front here. We want to start out about right here. So at this part of the eye, we don't want to go, oopsie, oh my goodness. We don't want to go, it's not dry yet. We don't want to go all the way from the outside for the eyebrow. It kind of starts at like midpoint, or I guess almost midpoint. And then we're going to go in and we're going to come all the way down to this point here. And we're going to go to the other side. like that and then we're gonna go up to here just like that okay you actually don't even need glue for that if you want to glue it down you can but you don't have to so just make it look evil-ish okay and then in the back, we are going to tie this in a knot. Just like that. Okay. And then the last thing we have to do is make the nose, the nostrils. So again, yarn your needle with black and the nostrils come right about here. How easy is that? Oh my goodness, this looks awesome. Okay, so then again, we're just going to take those two pieces and tie them in a knot. And there's so much yarn in the back here. Okay, you can actually cut all your stragglers a little shorter. There you have it. Now we just need to sew this onto our cup cozy. That looks so awesome. So how to sew it on? We need to take this straggler that we cut at the beginning. Make sure this is straight. And we're going to go through a few stitches here. And make sure that your hand, you put your hand inside of your cup cozy because you don't want to uh, sew your cup cozy closed. Oops. Dropping things. 
things here. Okay. So I just went in to this side. And just back out. And now it's going to be a little bit easier. So now make sure that it's all secure. And then just go in and out. Okay, very simple. Just make sure that it stays straight. Okay. And I actually am sewing mine over my seam, so you can't see the seam on this side, which is really cool. It's almost like a seamless type of project. Okay. And just, you know, go in and out of the stitches to secure it. And be careful around the mouth because of the the way the mouth is stitched. You want to go around those stitches. And then make sure those stragglers that we cut in the back of the head are all hidden behind it. Those won't fall out. You'll have no problem with that. And you gotta be careful because that glue, it would take a while for it to dry. So you gotta be careful with those felt pieces. Almost done here. Okay, then to fasten off, we're going to go into the inside. Okay, make sure it's all straight. And looks really cool. And then to fasten off, we're just going to go behind a few stitches, tie a knot, or a couple of times. You can do it twice or three times, however many you feel comfortable with. And then we are going to sew this in behind the cup cozy, but inside of the uh, face. So between the face and the cup cozy, we're just going to sew that in, cut that stretch it out and there you have it our awesome cup cozy this could fit around a jar it could fit around your travel mug any type of travel cup that will fit gotta make sure that dries it's gonna take a while for that to dry but it looks so flippin awesome and you can rock this this Halloween or really any time of the year because this is such an awesome cup cozy. So I'm going to go get some coffee now and enjoy in this brisk weather. Thank you so much for watching. See, that is not dry. There. It'll take a while for that to dry, but once it is, it's going to look awesome. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out the links in the description of this video. I'll have my Facebook, my website, the free pattern for this on my website, um, as well as links to all of my other places that you can find me, Snapchat, Instagram, see, so you can see behind the scenes footage. And uh, make sure to join the Facebook. And if you make this, share a picture with everybody. I definitely want to see your projects. Um, oh, to make this smaller or bigger, whichever, um, just in the beginning of this video when we did our first chain, just chain more or less. It's a very versatile pattern. Also, if you need to make this uh, smaller or bigger, um, just uh, fit, like follow the sequence of the increases on the circle. Uh, you can end at round 6 if you'd like, but um, if you want to go on to round 8, 
uh, like for round seven, we did two single crochet in this next stitch and then one single crochet in the next five stitches. For round eight, it would be two single crochet and then in the same stitch and then one single crochet in the next six stitches and so on and so forth. So you kind of get that pattern. If you need to make this uh, face or the circle a little bit bigger, um, as for the cup cozy, like I said, just chain more or chain less to make it uh, wider or small, or, um, longer or shorter, I guess. So, but this, uh, if you chain 30 with this size H hook, you should have it big enough to fit around any standard size cup uh, or uh, can. So that should fit. And these are quite stretchy, so they can fit around pretty wide uh, cups as well. So if you have a very large travel mug or something. So just keep that in mind. But thank you so much for watching. Happy hooking!